Hey guys, welcome back. Status. Shuttle's a mess, Commander. That pulse knocked it right out of the air. We're not going anywhere. The Normandy could extract us. Same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. And we aren't getting out of here until we find it. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's rigged for diving. A diving mech? It's a Triton model. Military grade. Repurposed for deep sea exploration. As long as the seawater hasn't corroded, it should be good to go. I'm game. We chased Leviathan this far. Let's finish this. It's a long ways down. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hear you. Time's wasted. Hold on a second. Are we actually considering? First, we'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. How? It appears we are. These old Ballard-class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. I got a cell for you, Commander. Find somewhere to plug that in. Oh, we have it on our back, mess. Nice. Oh, 26%. Power cell for you, Commander. The enemy is persistent. Get another power cell, Commander. We'll hold them off. <laughs> you get to just be invisible. Oh, alright. He's just dead. Wait, can, can we just go back to the same one? Do I just keep going back there? How does this mechanic work? No, I, I could go to either one of these. There's something special about this one. It actually gave me a pause, like it just like stopped everything. Hey guys. Well. I guess it's all time, because it just keeps going down. So I'm not supposed to spend too much time. Got a cell for you, Commander. Find somewhere to plug that in. I'll just run around, it's all good. Cargo doors are open in the back. That mech is all yours. It should still have weapons capability. Oh good. It's mech warrior time. You know, it's funny, I remember there was a game with a cloak in it, and then when you cloaked inside a mech, they actually thought you were invisible. What is it with these guys? It's basically on rails. Basically on rails. I'm going into the water, guys. I need to get in the water before they come back. Roger that. Walk the mech back to me when you're ready to dive. I should check it over first. Where are you? Uh. All right, Commander. Let's get you out of there, and I'll do a systems check. Commander, risk is rarely a hindrance. But this plan, even I would hesitate. 
You've come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, seals check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. It's as ready as I can make it. Let's go. Take care down there, Commander. Closing hatch. Engaging systems. Ready. Testing comm link. I read you. Here goes. Commencing dive in three, two, one. Looks good so far. Copy that. Cortez? Cortez! It's actually a pretty cool loading screen. Not sure if you can read me up there. Looks like I finished the major descent. Can't see much from here. The suit is holding up. Emergency systems have come online. Life support operational. Scanner indicates the probe is below my position. Looking for a way down. What the pressure? Shutting down all non-critical systems to preserve remaining power. Not sure how much juice the emergency thruster will need to get me back to the surface. Can't worry about that now. Getting some strange readings from the probe. Something is definitely down there. Oh, this is new. Kinda like this actually, it's fucking awesome. Bioshock, actually. I'm a big daddy now. Reading the probe directly below me. Looks like the final drop. Uh. Alright, sure. Time for a little swim. No. Can't see anything just yet. You know the 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 number for the depth and the meter are completely wrong, because it says I'm like four thousand five hundred, but my depth actually says three thousand three hundred, basically. Found the probe. Seems intact. I'm gonna keep moving. It's actually pissing me off now. Thanks. I need to know why. 
they are the enemy, one that seeks our extermination. But I thought you were a reaper. They are only echoes. We existed long before. Then what are you? Something more. <coughs> Your mind belongs to me. Breathe. <coughs> and <coughs> what's happening? Reaper, you could help us win this war. Why the hell are you hiding down here? There is no war. There is only the harvest. Then help us stop it. None have possessed the strength in past cycles. Your own species could be destroyed with a single thought. But you are different. I have witnessed your actions in this cycle. The destruction of Sovereign. The fall of the Collectors. The Reapers perceive you as a threat, and I must understand why. So the cycles, our kind was the apex of life in the galaxy. The lesser species were in our thrall, serving our needs. We grew more powerful than they were cared for. But we could not protect them from themselves. Over time, the species built machines that then destroyed them. Tribute does not flow from a dead race. To solve this problem, we created an intelligence with a mandate to preserve life at any cost. As the intelligence evolved, it studied the development of civilizations. Its understanding grew until it found a solution. In that instant, it betrayed us. It chose our kind as the first harvest. From our essence, the first reaper was created. You call it Harbinger. How did the intelligence defeat you? To find a solution, it required information. Physical data drawn from organic life in the cosmos. It created an army of pawns that searched the galaxy, gathering this data. There was no warning. No reason given when they turned against us. Only slaughter. Only the harvest. How did you remain hidden all this time? Our extermination was not complete. Some survived and found refuge in the dark corners of the galaxy. I am their progeny. Over the cycles, the thrall races were controlled, removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. In this way, our survival was kept secret from the Reapers. Today, we reach out through the fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? Provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle for the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. It just occurred to me, those are the, the spheres from Aspect 1 that were never really explained what they do. It's kind of cool. You built that machine despite what you saw the other races experience. Why? You cannot conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will. Every creature, every nation, every planet we discovered became our tools. We were above the concerns of lesser species. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for your mistake. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. Tell me about the Reapers. Each harvest ends with the birth of a reaper, perfect in its design, each formed in Harbinger's image, our image. Each reaper has the power to influence 
organics. Over countless cycles, this ability was refined, perfected, and gave rise to indoctrination. What's the point of all these harvests? The intelligence has one purpose. Preservation of life. That purpose is not being fulfilled. It directed the Reapers to create the mass relays, to speed the time between cycles to greatest efficiency. The galaxy itself became an experiment. Evolution its tool. Will it ever end? Unknown. Until the intelligence finds what it's looking for, the harvest will continue. What do you know about the Crucible? We have watched its construction before. It has never been completed. Those who have tried still fell victim to the harvest. Its outcome is unknown. Okay, you made your point. Will you help stop the cycle? I have searched your mind. You are an anomaly, yet that is not enough. Wait! The cycle will continue. No! You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. We will survive. You will remain here as a servant of our needs. The Reapers will harvest the rest. If you release me, no one has to be harvested. Nothing will change. You're responsible for this. Every race that's ever been destroyed is because of you. And now the Reapers will destroy you too. Unless you start fighting. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop. Ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this, once and for all. You should be. It is clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. Your victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first, the Apex race. We will survive. And the Reapers who trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become our slaves. Everyone pisses on this game story. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad.
Shepard, wake up. He's freezing. <coughs> you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Hell of a headache. We're lucky we got you back. I've got Ann Bryson on the comm. Good. Put her through. Commander. You feeling better? Yes, thank you. I'm doing fine. What happened? We found it, Anne. We found Leviathan. Was it worth it? It was. We exposed it. Pushed it into the light. Whether it likes it or not, it's a part of this war now. Sounds like an amazing story. One for the history books. Well, I look forward to hearing all about it. My father would appreciate this, knowing the truth is out there. In the meantime, Admiral Hackett has asked me to join his scientific team. We all have our part to play. I should get to it. Take care, Anne. And thanks for all your help. Shepard up. Uh, that's pretty good. Commander, I finished reading your report. The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we got it. Our people will be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out. Wonder how much, uh... Points it counts as. Alright, well, let's, let's have a look here. Uh, Leviathan Enthrallment Team. Nice. Well, <laughs> 6,700. So if we have that, it puts us at about 3,400, which is enough to get, like, the best ending, so... Yeah, really didn't need that bullshit, I guess. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we didn't need that. But it's all good. Uh, let's see. Sixth Fleet. The Heat Sinks. Bryson. Uh, the hell is this thing, really? And radiation shielding. All right. Uh, I guess I should talk talk to everyone before we uh, we finish up here. It's holy shit! All right, well these two didn't have their voice actors come back. Commander. Oh, might as well. I I I mean I thought that was pretty cool. I liked it. I mean, it's kind of weird how it's like basically just three short missions, but still, it's still pretty good. Commander. So the Reapers did not fully exterminate their creators. That suggests they are fallible, even on large or long-term scales. What are you thinking about, Edie? The holographic theory of existence posits we are just two-dimensional information painted on the cosmological horizon. However, the holographic consciousness I recognize as myself is only able to perceive matter and energy. Thus, I am able to theorize the true nature of existence but never experience it. Possibly even the Reapers are limited this way. Okay. Bad question. Hello, Shepard. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do the rounds, and I will call it. Because after that, I don't think there's much else left to do. It's just Citadel stuff. I mean, we could, like, look at all the systems, but... I mean, it's really, there's no point to the blind scanning, it's kind of boring. So, probably not really going to bother with it. Speed run tactics. There is new information on the pro- no, There's nothing here. Terminal. I'm glad you made it back. And I'd appreciate it if you'd avoided talking to- I don't want any tentacled creature inside your mind. Except me. I didn't press anything, she just uh, skipped her dialogue on her own. Feel free to look around. Oh, thank goodness we have subtitles on. That time I, I actually didn't do anything. I, I maybe moved into her a little bit, but that's never kind of messed around with a dialogue before. Shepard, I looked over your mission report. 
Gotta say, it feels like we've been after these Reapers forever. From Sovereign to Leviathan, they've been a pain in the ass the whole time. But at least we're starting to see the big picture. Never really thought we'd get any answers. Doesn't change much, but it does make this war feel a whole lot bigger. Another time, maybe. Now here's my thing. They go basically go like they make a Reaper every time they do. They harvest a species, but like, how many Reapers have we killed so far? Like, they're definitely at a net loss, and if this happens every cycle, then they definitely, they're out of a net loss. I've been thinking about what we learned, Shepard. The thing is, I don't really care what the Reapers are or where they're from. They're monsters that need to be put down. That's all I need to know. Hey there. Yeah, but they could have an interesting backstory, unlike you. Oh, shit. Shots are fired on this day. I was just thinking about the Banshees. The Asari are so beautiful. And to see that done to them. The Reapers have done the same to most intelligent species they've encountered. Humans, Batarians, Turians, and even Krogan have been modified into Reaper foot soldiers. But not Quarians. No. The Reapers have not encountered your people in significant numbers. You don't think it's because of our weakened immune systems? No. Hmm. I just assumed we weren't useful. Quarians are intelligent, adaptable, and technically adept. You would make excellent Reaper soldiers. Thanks, E.D. I think. Tally, the Normandy has benefited greatly from your work. And your people are providing vital support in the war effort. We wouldn't be doing as well without the Geth. And we wouldn't be doing as well without you. Thank you, Tally. So we have Leviathan. I hope it stays on our side. Nothing to report, Commander. All good, Commander. Commander? Alright, we'll just pro through the Protheon and then we're good. The best teammate. I have studied your human religions, Commander. Your devil and his fall. Leviathan and its kind deserve the same fate. They once unleashed a plague that has haunted all of our history to this day. I say their own hell is the abyss you found them in. One I hope they never escape from. The crew seems to enjoy staring at me. Commander. Alright. There's only one fitting way to end this. And that is to start the, uh, the base on... No, I'm, jo I'm joking. Alright, you guys know what's up. Uh, well, what emails do I have? Nothing. That's uh, very sad. All right, what do you think about this? I kind of agree with that. All right, well, uh, I guess that's the first day, guys. See you later.